if you're into bouncy soft curls and awkward dance moves then you are definitely in the right place today i'm going to be showing you how i achieve this flexi rod set using the tropical mango shea hair cream and the herbal hair growth oil by she beauty jamaica this was my very first flexi rod set so i was kind of nervous going in but i was really excited to try these products and i'm excited to share this with you guys my name is izzy and welcome to the video So this is me, first thing in the morning. I sleep with a satin scarf and a bonnet on because one of them might just decide to fall off in the middle of the night and we're not about to leave our hair unprotected, easy me? So I washed my hair the day before so it's already moisturized and detangled and everything but I'm gonna go in and re-moisturize my hair one twist at a time because I'm gonna be styling my hair with heat so I want it to be as moisturized and as protected as it can be and for that moisture I'm going to be using the Curl Smoothie by Nancy's Kitchen Products usually i use their leave-in conditioner but that's almost done so i'm trying to ease up on it a bit so i'm moisturizing with the curl smoothie and i'm just rubbing it through making sure i'm getting each strand of hair and then i'm going to be following that up with a few drops of the herbal hair growth oil by she beauty and this is supposed to have some really good strengthening properties for your hair based on the different kinds of oils that are in it. But we're going to talk about that a little later on in the video. Right here, I'm focusing on getting both of those products on every strand of my hair and making sure that my hair stays detangled. So after adding the curl smoothie and the hair growth oil, I'm going to retwist that section and then just do the exact same thing to the rest of my head. So once I've refreshed my whole head, I'm going to be applying some of the hair growth oil to my scalp as well. This oil is made of olive oil, castor oil, coconut oil, rosemary leaves, hibiscus leaves, and you do see these leaves in the container as well, which I think is cool. There's horsetail grass, fenugreek powder, eucalyptus oil, lavender oil, and peppermint oil. All of these oils combined are very good for the health and strength of your hair. They tackle dry scalp, dandruff, itching, hair loss, thinning, and overall just make your hair stronger so that you can retain more length. So after doing all of that, I'm going to be blow drying my hair. So just to show you, I always use a heat protectant. This one is the, I, I can't remember, but I'll put it right here. So this is the one that I'm using, rubbing that through each section of hair. And then I'm gonna be using my Revlon blow dry brush on the low heat or warm. And I know this looks really slow. I'm actually playing this back in real time so you can see how slowly I blow dry my hair. I just feel like even though it looks really slow, it takes up less work when you do it this way. Like you have to make less passes because you're really taking your time to go through each section. So once my hair is blown out the way that I want it to be, I'll just pin away that section and then yeah, do the same thing to the rest of my head. So now we're on to the most important part of the video, which is actually applying the flexi rod set. I was pretty nervous because I'd never done it before, but I decided to use the horseshoe method because, I mean, my hair is pretty short, so there's no way I was going to use the entire length of a flexi rod anyway. So I'm applying the hair cream to my hair and I used a small-ish amount per section. So I'm using my fingers to smooth it through the length of my hair. And while this is a combination of different bottles, it didn't feel heavy on my hair and it wasn't weighing it down at all which i liked because i was going more for volume than definition so i wanted a really soft hold anyway now to apply the flexi rods i'm gonna be splitting each section of hair into two so that i can wrap one piece of the flexi rod at a time so it's a lot like twisting your hair i'm just going to be wrapping my hair along the length of the flexi rod and i'm trying to keep it very smooth and taut but not tight as i go down the length of the flexi rod i think what i was most worried about going in was not being sure that my ends were going to hold but once i folded it up and then gave it a nice press it was able to stay in place pleasantly surprised that it worked not gonna lie but just doing that first section properly kind of gave me the confidence to move forward with the rest of the sections and it was really just the same thing over and over again holding my section of hair smooth and just wrapping it around the flexi rod. 
So let's talk about the ingredients while I go through this process. Of course, you have mango butter and shea butter, but there's also sunflower oil, olive oil, orange essential oil, and lemongrass essential oil. I really love the smell of lemongrass essential oil. It's just this light, lingering lemon smell. So my hair was left smelling really good for a very long time. And there's also mango butter. Now, I don't see mango butter very often in hair products. It's always very interesting when I do come across it. Mango butter is good for strengthening the hair strands and reducing breakage. And it's also very rich in vitamins A and E. And I don't know if you can tell, but my hair strands are pretty thin and they break off really easily. So I'm not complaining about any of these ingredients at all. I actually really do like this product. Now what I'm doing here is redoing some of the ends because they had started to come apart. I guess I just didn't close the end of the flexi rod tight enough. I don't know, but I had to redo about three or four of the ends. I didn't do that lower section of hair because it was just really short. So I left it in Bantu knots. And this is me the next day after I had slept on my hair. It wasn't too bad to sleep on, maybe because I didn't use a lot of flexi rods. I only used 12. So I guess I had, I don't know, some space to lie down on comfortably. But to take them down, I'm reapplying the herbal hair growth oil to my fingers just to help prevent friction between my hands and my hair. And I'm starting with the first one that I put in. I start from the end and just unravel it all the way up to the roots. And even though I had gone through the whole process of putting in the flexi rod set, I was still unsure about how my hair was gonna turn out in the end and if you pay attention you'll realize that these curls are not even the same the one on the left is like a zigzag kind of pattern but the one on the right is like a spiral so obviously i didn't do these the same i wasn't sure when i unraveled them how they were going to look but like it was already too late at this point so going into this hairstyle, I definitely had a pretty clear idea of what I wanted my hair to look like. I know for sure that I wanted volume over definition. So I wanted some amount of curls, but more than anything, I wanted my hair to be soft and light and bouncy, which is why I chose to use this hair cream because it's a combination of oils and bottles. So I knew it was going to give my hair a light hold, which is what I was going for. And I only used 12 flexi rods in total because... I didn't want super defined curls that were gonna hold stiff in place. I wanted loose curls that were just kind of bouncing and floating all over the place. So I used less um, flexi rods. Now, can we just take a minute to appreciate the shine that is on my hair? And that's a combination of two things. One, it's how smoothly I was able to wrap my hair around the flexi rods. And two, it's definitely because of the hair cream. Oils, bottles, light hold, soft, bouncy. It looks good. It, it smells good. It feels good. I was pretty satisfied even at this point. So because I wanted more volume than what I already had, I just separated each section maybe two or three times. I didn't have to pick or fluff or zhuzh up anything. Once I had separated them two or three times, I was good to go after that. Alright, so here are my final thoughts on the products. Actually, all I need you to do is look. Yeah, just look at me. Look at my hair. Look at the smile. Look at the vibe. Okay, I don't think I need to say anything. Again, looks good. Smells good. Feels good. That's what I'm here for. Because right now, me is a hot girl. Who are going to tell me, say, me look like this and me not a hot girl? Hello? Talk to me nice. Please and thanks. <laughs> Alright, so for real, I really do like um, the hair cream especially. 
because of all of the reasons that we talked about before i'm going to continue to use it as well as the hair growth oil just because i know the oil is going to take a longer time to kind of prove itself but i will update you guys on my instagram so if you're not following me on instagram then you definitely should here is my information so I want to say a huge, huge thank you to She Beauty Jamaica for sending me both of these products. I really do appreciate it. And I also appreciate you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. If you haven't already, please leave me a like and a comment and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. That's all I have for you guys today and you'll see me next time.